président, le premier ministre a changé la loi électorale pour son propre bénéfice. Il a décidé de formater ce débat sans aucune consultation et maintenant, nous apprenons qu'il a nommé des activistes partisans pour déterminer quels médias recevront plus d'un demi-milliard en subvention. Quand le premier ministre va-t-il admettre qu'il tente de truquer les élections? Bravo! Bravo. Le ministre des institutions démocratiques. Monsieur le Président, c'est un jeu dangereux qui joue les conservateurs. Ils sont en train de traiter, de uh, minimiser et undermine the integrity of so many of our democratic institutions. Whether it's the CEO of Elections Canada, the Commissioner of Canada Elections, the Debates Commissioner, and now independent journalism and media. Mr. Speaker, these games have to stop our democracy. Well, Mr. Speaker, instead of safeguarding the upcoming election against foreign interference and protecting the privacy of Canadians and their data, the Prime Minister was too busy trying to rig the election for his own personal gain. And now he wants us to believe that his partisan panel will fairly distribute funds to media outlets when its membership has clearly expressed their intention to campaign against the Conservatives in the next election. Why doesn't the Prime Minister just admit that he's trying to stack the deck to win the next election? The Honourable Minister of Democratic Institutions. Speaker, let's go over the record. In our update to the Canada Elections Act, we levelled the playing field with regards to what political parties can spend in the upcoming election. We made sure that Canadians, all Canadians, have not just the right but are able to vote, Mr. Speaker. We also made it easier for Canadians to be informed about, get this, how to vote, Mr. Speaker. We've re-empowered the CEO of Elections Canada to speak to Canadians about voting, and we've given the Commissioner of Canada Elections even more power and authority to ensure that this Elections Act is fair and it's being able to be enforced. Let's talk about that, Mr. Speaker, and let's make sure that we're all working for democracy. Thank you.